Because he was an Indian? I was in love with him. But what's the good of saying that I would have loved him whatever he'd been? He was an Indian, and that was part of what made him what he was. You don't suppose there was some sort of gesture in it? No. But it's terribly difficult to keep a marriage like ours personal. If you quarrel, you can't simply be a man and wife who don't get on. You begin to question yourself all the time. Uh, does this make me angry because, uh, only because I'm white? Or does this depress him only because he's colored? Or would a white man feel the same? You get terribly nervous. After two years, we got divorced. But I don't see how all this was possible. I thought you weren't allowed to marry somebody from a different race. Oh, yes, it was possible. We got married before mixed marriages became illegal. It was difficult, all right, even trying to find some place decent to live. And your family? I got off quite lucky. They dropped me. They wanted to forget about me quickly. I think they really did believe I was crazy. They could be less ashamed of me that way. What sane white girl could want to marry a colored man? <laughs> Let alone a good Afrikaans girl like me. They're passionate nationalists, you see. They hate the English, they fear the blacks. They're isolated in their belief in themselves as chosen people, chosen to keep civilization white in this part of Africa. What a miserable way to exist, in fear and hate. And yet, you know, they're directly descended from the Voortrekkers, the pioneers. One would have expected them to have more courage. The four trekkers were bigoted, a Bible in one hand and a gun in the other. But they had guts. Well, you're the one who's made the trek this generation, Anna. Do you like those people? people. Those rich white South Africans you go about with. Some of them. I mean, how do they strike you? They're friendly. They're hospitable. They're rather fun sometimes. They're honest. Actually, they're damn nice. I believe one could... What are you doing that for? We can speak more freely, that's all. Do you really mean to say it's possible to listen into people's conversations through their telephone? They say it's been done. No harm in being careful. Anyway, go on. You were telling me about your rich friends. Yes. I mean, they don't strike you as being heron folk or oppressors or anything like that when you're in their company. They're pretty easy going. Of course, they've got a pretty easy life too. They seem bent on enjoying themselves. As for how long the party's going to last, I really believe that the Africans aren't ready to share in running the country yet. Not that they've ever known any except their own servants. Ah, uh, yes. The black man is 300 years behind the white man. And why should he ever be allowed to catch up? Why not keep this monopoly of education and economic and political power? The good things in life. Why spread them when you can have them so thick? Do they know anything about your friendship with Stephen, or, or Sam, or for that matter, with me? No. They don't know anything about you, or the others. And if they did?
you think you'll keep free with, with one foot here and another foot there and a look in somewhere else? But even you, Toby, even a stranger like you, you won't be able to keep it up. 